our next story, we're talking about Big Ted. Now, he has been in the industry for a hot minute. When you see things that are moving and shaking, he's just probably in the background moving and shaking these things. I remember when I was really young, his wedding was one of those, you know, close to a Princess Diana scenario kind of thing. His wedding was... It made headlines. I remember like people were attending. It was the who's and who's, the ministers, the this and this and this. And it was such an extravagant wedding. And just growing up, I was like, wow, you know what? I, 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 I could mess with this. It was really nice. It was really extravagant. It made headlines. And then it all, all have lasted for a hot minute. They did have two children, but unfortunately, things did end. They never really said exactly what led to the separation. But I remember church gossip. Me, Aki, gossiping the church. The women were like, Aki, you know, we attended this wedding. It was so extravagant, so expensive. I remember being, in, you know, listening to this gossip going on and was growing up but you know things ended and right now he's saying it wasn't um about money or any of the reasons that we actually run to when you think about divorce he just said that he was really focused on work and by the time you know he kind of snapped out of it he realized they had become strangers they no longer knew each other they didn't know how to relate with each other however he says the greatest gift he got from that marriage was his two beautiful daughters and he's forever grateful for that and i'm just like you know what good for you and then he says like a cautionary tale it is better to go back to your parents with a suitcase than to go back in a casket and this is a message that's always repeated to everyone please know that you deserve better you cannot die in a in depression because you're in a situation with somebody because you had this extravagant wedding that was witnessed by the whole nation everyone knows about it and then you separate if things are not working please go go back to your father's house very quickly however recently he did uh, remarry uh, one girl i keep forgetting her name but i remember for some time she was an instagram model she was very beautiful they got married it was very hush hush very few people attended they've actually kept the relationship very secret uh to them and that's a good thing and he says they're in a good place he's just focusing on raising his daughters he's actually uh is, is he consulate general uh for kenya and los angeles so he's doing well he's doing well for himself and kudos to you i think it's very important for us to mention the fact that he now has five children as in mm. he has five women in his life he says um i quote <clears throat> Yo, I've lost the quote. He says, uh, five well, women in uh, he his has life, five, five women. Children. I have remarried, so I have five women. How am a dame who are very special? In fact, me, Sahi, because I remarried, the blunder is, uh, Nikona, five women in my life. By the way, he on Ngori. What a decide what I want to attitude machozi to brother. I think it's very, very important to mention that um, Big Ted has been very, very, he's such a public figure, but he has managed to find that thin line between having both a public life and a very private one. We only hear of him when big things are being mentioned, and that's very, very important, especially in situations where you are divorcing. You don't want to put your partner or your ex partner in the limelight in such a way that they are torn apart by trolls because that seems to be the running theme someone breaks up with you you throw them to the dogs and now everybody is chewing them up on the comment section so congratulations to you and your big family and we hope that your ex-wife is doing just as well as you are mm -hmm. and thank you for not even dragging the name in the mud however i am very curious about that statement of uh getting back home in um in uh, with a suitcase as opposed to going back home in a casket like is that like can we do we can i read into it and maybe assume that there was some violence that happened there i don't know sometimes speculations are speculations and yes it is very sound advice you'd rather just go back home than be in a loveless terrible violent relationship with your partner simply because of the children the children will see this and it never really works out every time someone says they're in it for the children i'm just like what are you teaching your children like, what is the lesson here? That mm -hmm. you can suffer and live a horrible life, and then this is what they start to look at love like. It's it, just leave, yo. Leave. It's not that. It's never that deep. Moving